Hi, I'm Adam, and today we're going to be setting up the Fargo HTP 5000 ID card printer. The following items are included with the printer. Installation guide, power supply and power cord, input and output card hoppers, printer driver, warranty and registration card. The first thing we're going to do is load the printer ribbon. The first step is to open the panel located at the front of the printer, just here. Once open, we now need to remove the ribbon cartridges. Simply press down on the blue button and remove the ribbon cartridges as so. When inserting a YMCK colour ribbon, it's important to make sure that the colours on the ribbon match up to the same colours on the cartridge. We're now going to show you how. Firstly, turn the cartridge around, then make sure that the blue spool matches up with the blue on the cartridge as such. Next up now is to make sure that the ribbon is wrapped around the outside of the cartridge as such. Pull the ribbon all the way around the outside until it meets the orange section here. Once in, drop in making sure it's fully clipped and supported. Once inserted we need to make sure that the ribbon is tightly wrapped to the cartridge. To do so, we're going to flip the cartridge across and also just pull the top of the ribbon in as such. We're now going to do the same process for the clear transfer film. Firstly, tilt the cartridge over. The yellow ribbon film now matches the yellow ribbon cartridge and the green now matches the green cartridge. And turn just here as so. With the YMCK printer ribbon and clear transfer film now set, we're ready to place both cartridges back inside the printer. We need to make sure that the cartridges are inserted firmly, listing out for the click as so. Included with the printer ribbon is a cleaning card roller. We're now going to show you how to correctly insert this into the printer. We need to place the roller inside of the input hopper into the two hooks at the top of the printer. Once inserted, we now need to remove the film layer. To do this, just simply pull down on the arrow located here. The next step is to insert the input card hopper. Simply place the hopper over the space, pushing down until you hear a click noise. Once the hopper is inserted correctly, we now need to insert the blank white cards. We do so by pressing down on the button at the side of the hopper and lifting the lid. We then place the blank white cards inside the hopper as such. Once your cards are inserted, simply push the hopper back down, closing the lid. With the input card hopper inserted correctly, it's now time to do the same with the output card hopper. Before inserting, make sure that the spring coils are at the bottom of the hopper and all we now need to do is just insert it into the two areas at the side of the printer as so. Our next step is to connect the power cord as so and install the printer driver. Make sure all programs are closed and insert the software installation CD. Follow the on-screen procedure to complete the installation. Read and click accept and then click next. We're going to use a USB connection so we're going to click that and then next. Click next again and wait for the installation. When you're prompted to connect the cable please do so. Now wait for installation to finish, click finish and allow your computer to be rebooted. The software is now installed and you're ready to print.